Hey everyone, it's Luna! Before the video starts, please make sure you're subscribed. If you've not, it's totally free and it helps out the channel a lot! It'd make me really happy if you did. If you don't, I'll send your ass back to the Shadow Realm, you degenerate. <clears throat> Enjoy! Alright, now we're gonna finish it off with the Danganronpa V3 characters. Starting off with Anji. Now, I already know that some, uh, Feelings towards Anji with some people in the group. So, uh, Vana, where do you think Anji should go? I'd say that she's a uh, solid B tier, solid top of B tier choice. Top of B tier? Top of B tier? Of B -tier? I think no. that she is better than. No, 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 no. I'll say she's better than Mondo. Bro, you have the hate boner for Mondo. <laughs> no way is she better than Mondo. She's better than Mondo. Yeah, I really, I really hated Anji when I played through V3, but I just played and watched through more of the series. I don't think she deserves to be in D. I, I got her in C somewhere. I'm trying to figure that out. No, no, she's in B. She has to be in B. Hell no, she's not in B. I. Yeah, she me personally speaking, I do like. He let a fucking. He let a goddamn cult. Like, come on. Why is that like a props that she? She let a cult. That's that's some good shit right there. She fucking was a big part in the game. She I, is hella annoying the whole game. I won't. I won't deny that she did play a big part in like her and fucking Himiko's relationship and the fact that like Tenko was getting jealous and all that other bullshit. I will say there were times where like her saying like a two with this, a two with that did get on my nerves. But with what everyone's feeling, I would be willing to settle Anji being bottom of B tier. I think back of B. I said very bottom of B tier. That's the only limit I will go for Anji. And I think everybody's in agreement here. Gonta. Go oh, no, this, no, this is a hero. We'll say he can be on top of B. He's I, annoying shit to me. Gunt is a true gentleman. He is. I, I, I'm giving him credit. I, 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 he was just annoying. Here, going to this, going to that, going to, going to. It, it got annoying. You make it feel like it's his fault that he has to say his own name. <laughs> Hey man, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie and be like, oh, it's it. like it wasn't annoying. It was annoying, <laughs> but hey, like I still respect his character. I still think he was a good guy. He he just got a badass tick that was annoying. <laughs> no, no, I'll put a nigga back and see. I think no, 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 no. no, no. All, right, all right, hit me out, hit me out, hit me out, hit me out. Him and Imposter Byakuya are kind of the same rule. So I'm willing to say either top of B, either behind Byakuya or in front of him. Okay, here's what we have right now. Sean has back of A. I have either in front or behind Byakuya. Vona has bottom of B. So I will say as a compromise, top of B is where going to no. go. That's a compromise. No. Sean, it's Sean, not, Sean wants- Why is your version of compromise that? It's so fucking stupid. Sean wants him at the very bottom of A. I want him at the very top of B. You want him Ain't all the no way in the way back. Ain't this dumb niggas better than all these people. <laughs> He's easily better than Anji, Byakuya, Makoto, Fuyuhiko, and Aoi. He I'm is! Sorry, your and, coming out and, and Mondo. <laughs> go, and Mondo. Go, I, I, I swear to God, Gonta is better than everybody on every single B tier right now. He does more than anybody uh, here. Are you right, bro? I hope Gonta cracks your neck and says it was for the greater good. <laughs> Anta is a true gentleman. Yeah, and I, I hate if a slow nigga literally killed me and said he thought it was for the best. That's why he's fucking slow. He can't. He shouldn't be thinking. Himiko Yamano. I liked her. I mean, she but was he like had magic, bro. She, she was a mage. <laughs> she did have magic. I will put her at a uh, A tier. Put her in front of Nekomaro. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, do that. No, shit. no, 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 no. Okay, stop. I. No, that's two I'm, against one. Fuck no, you, listen, two against listen, one. Listen, 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 listen. I, I just want to plead my case real quick. Okay, put, I, her, two, put, put her in front of Nekomaru and then plead your case. Okay, listen. Himiko was a good character, I won't lie. She had comedic moments, I won't lie. She didn't have any moment like Nekomaru that made her be like a fucking like top G, top dog type of person. Nekomaru literally did everything. Plus, because Himiko doesn't need moments to make her feel like that. She is just top dog. That's Nekumaru fucking crazy. Have moments to back his shit up. Himiko don't. She fucking uh, dog. Nekumaru a... literally. Uh, I, I... Nekumaru is like literally like straight up like think fucking top Himiko... G helping people out and was like I'm a fight to the death to like literally help everybody else out. Himiko was just there having comedic moments, being like you know all cutesy and shit. She was a good character. I won't lie. I, I like Himiko. 
but I don't think she deserves to be in front of Neku Maru who actually did. Say that, bro. In retrospect, in Neku Maru did a lot Sakura. more. You you won me over. I put her I put her in between Neku Maru and Sakura. I'm okay with I'm okay with her being in front of Sakura. She doesn't deserve to be in front of Neku Maru. That's like fucking peak. Like I did some like actual like good shit that changed some like changed like the flow of everything. Fucking Kibo. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, that he doesn't. Kibo, Fine, bottom of D. I didn't like Kibo. Fuck him. Kibo doesn't. Another, deserve, another, another no, judge, jury, not, it's another judge, jury executioner. Bottom D. From the foot, from the fucking uh quiet kid in the class, because <laughs> everyone was robophobic on other bullshit, and then he was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna kill the school." Like, nigga, who made you in charge to do that shit? You can't put your fucking hat on. Think you line leader motherfucker and then just be like i'ma kill everybody because i say so i don't like kibo as a character but he the only redeeming quality i think he had was the fact that he was telling everybody like yo fuck the outside world i know it we all was talking about like we're gonna change everything he's like nah this these niggas can't be changed and he was just like fuck it we gotta like destroy everything i think that deserves to be Oh, he, Kibo definitely deserves to be above Hajime. Kaede Akamatsu, aka Weeby News. He's either top of B or bottom of A for me. I say bottom of A for Kaede. Bottom of A. Yeah, because like, I like Kaede as a character. I like Kaede in the fact that like she wanted to like fucking just be like, fuck it. With the killing game started, let's go straight after the mastermind. And she did everything she could, but at the end of the day, she felt like she fucked up. But Should've even though in retro Nessa, even in retrospect, she didn't fucking kill Rantaro. You know? It so turn Shuichi into a Sigma male. Kaito Momota. Kaito Momota! Luminary of the stars. I think A tier. I think he's right behind Kaede. I'm willing to say in front of Kaede just because he lasts longer and was able to help Suichi longer. I really like his whole ideals and everything. I might even put him as far as right before Nekamaru, but like he loses points for me in trial three when he's too scared to help, and then in trial four when he's kind of being an asshole because he like refuses to believe that Gonta could have done it. Before Nekumaru. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm willing to say before Nekumaru. He, he, he's the ultimate bro across all the games. He's the best bro character. Kurumi. This is difficult for me. C. I think bottom, bottom B or C. He gets a lot of points for having a cool background. And I like her design a lot. She's pretty bland other than that. She doesn't really last long enough to make an impression. I'd put her top of two. Yeah. Uh, she's not oh, she's not completely bland. Like she, again, she does have personality, which definitely shows obviously at the very end of what was it, the second trial? Now this little fucker. The ultimate prankster. Now I think I think he's better than Nagito. I think he's better than Nagito. He is better than Nagito. I put him. I put Kokichi either in front of Celeste or in front of Ibuki. In front of Ibuki. No, in front of Celeste. Uh, yeah, they are Kokichi. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kokichi like strings the whole game along. He pisses off the mastermind by like making, like taking taking control of the game and making Samugi like do a flashback like. Like, he would have ended the game if Samugi didn't do that last flashback light to, like, make them all think he was a remnant of despair. Like, he would have he would have had the game sealed if he, if she didn't do that and then, you know, cause Maki to go shoot him in the fucking arm. <laughs> and the more I talk about it, I might put Kokichi number one. Like, to be honest with you, I kind of like him more than Chiaki. I'm willing to put him in front of Chiaki. He's just, like, he's just so well-written. He's just, like, entertaining, and he's in the game long enough that, like, He's only not there for the final chapter. Uh, this sister fucker, uh, Karekio. I hate the sister fucker thing, but like, up until that point, I like Karekio's character. Like, he plays it perfectly well. Like, he's the creepy guy, but he's low key really smart in all of the fucking trials. Like, he's really helpful, and like, I like the. There's like one moment in the first trial where like Kaede like starts attacking him and he's like i understand why you're coming after me like i look like a murderer like it makes sense like i think he's real for that <laughs> the sister fucker thing is it's like hard to get over <laughs> like that's a real bad pill to swallow that like he's killing random people because he wants to send them to like have fun with his sister in heaven and he also like wants to fuck his sister like i think if they would have kept it like if he was just killing people to go 
like befriend his sister in the afterlife that would have been cool why did they have to add that like this dude was like into his sister i never I thought her, i never thought correctio character was honestly bad he it wasn't my favorite the whole sister fuck i mean it's whatever but like i feel like that fits with his creepy vibe shit I'd I would bottom of B. I'd like. Yeah, I'm I love the whole. Of B. I love the whole. <laughs> he does B his character of proper. Three of like that whole horror like aesthetic and vibe they go for between like, you know, the fucking his area, Angie's area, and then like obviously the fucking ceremony and Monokuma being like unresponsive the entire chapter. And Maki pouts some more. Easy S. One of the best characters in across the whole game. Yeah. I put Maki second. Se second, like what in front of Chiaki? Yeah. Oh fuck no. no. Oh fuck no. Oh, Maki has one of the best fucking. A. She lies about her ultimate because she knows people are going to be outcast through her. Not only does that, people find out and she immediately closes herself up. She goes through a whole transformation the entire game, coming out of her shell through the help of Kaito and Shuichi, like initially dismissing them as morons, but then like you know, opening up to it, willing to kill for Kaito, willing to get herself killed. Like, she's a homie, bro. Like, she comes she comes full circle. She is one of the best developments of any character in the series. I'm saying behind Chiaki. I'm also rocking with behind Chiaki. Mad about that. I just think she has to be up there. Like, I think, like, I like Gundam, Ibuki, Celeste, and Nagito, but, like, their development, at least Celeste, Ibuki, and Gundam don't even compare to Maki's. Another Ibuki. easy ass. Ibog, Ibuki. Oh, mm. Yeah, she's above Ibuki for sure. No, you bastards, whatever. <laughs> I feel like Ibuki is like a building block to where Mew gets to. Like, Ibuki is the baseline, and like, Mew makes it even funnier and like even more enjoyable. I mean, and she's around longer, and all of her inventions, like, pretty much single handedly saved the V3 cast. I might even put her in front of Celeste. I don't. Well, like, I don't even know. I think that's a tough one. I think they're. I think they're close. So, like, I don't mind her being behind. I I, I don't give a shit because both of me, you, and Abuki are next to each other. So that's yes. good enough for me. But I don't know if me is going to be above. Like yeah. Avocado man, Rentaro, my mommy. I think his quirk was fucking cool as fuck. I guess. I don't know, but it wasn't like in developed though. It was like, oh yeah, like his quirk ultimate is a fight survivor. I would have loved to see what the fuck that would entail. You learn more about it as the game goes on, which is interesting. It, 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 even though he's dead, it kind of adds to his character where he's like, yeah, you know what's going on. You asked for this. And he was like, uh, you know, don't trust nobody. And he was like, you probably don't even trust me right now. You know, and he's going on about like you in the last game, you know, all this other bullshit. I, I, get, I, I, I like give him part. bottom. I give him bottom of B. I agree. It's either bottom of B or top of C. I'm okay with putting them in front of Karekio. That's fair. Because I, I, I do. I guess his ultimate survivor prick itself, I feel like, outweighs what Karekio is all about. Not gonna lie. And like the more you learn about, because like, his it, whole twist is it's like a really interesting part about three. I said it's not his. It, it's not Rantaro's fault that he got off so early on. Like fucking Samugi offed his ass. So. We'll, we'll leave Rintaro in front of, not in front of, uh, in between uh, Anji and Karekio. Yoma. I don't necessarily hate him, but he was just so fucking boring. I'm willing like, to put he's him in D, D tier. Why, why would he be in D tier? I, I wouldn't drop him. I'd put him in C tier. I was like, I, I don't hate him. He's not a bad character. He's I, just... I think, no, it's not that he's bad. I think he's I just think between boring. Between Chihiro and Peko. I'm okay. I think, like, I'm he's okay super him, real for, like, A, in the first, the first trial. Well, like before he's like y'all can just kill me like i really don't have much to live for and then the second chapter like, he's trying to figure like he's trying to find some passion and then like he just sees his motive video and like he has no reason and just kind of like gives his life up to karumi because he knows she has something more important i just think his character as a whole is like boring and like it doesn't make me like care about him whatsoever like the only thing that sticks out is just like damn this dude said i have nothing left to live for let me use my life as a motive for like somebody that's, else to that's, keep that's, not, that's not a D tier thing though. Mm. That's, there's nothing D worthy about that. Like he's saying, hey, you have something that you want to work for. I don't use my life to get that. <laughs> no, that's, that's not that's not like a bitch move or anything. He's if anything, he's just offering up his life to help someone else. Considering that Peko Luli did the same as I think for Fuyuhiko, I'm kind of 
kind of makes me want to play them in right Well, in that's right why here. I have them, like, right next to Pekka. I think they're, like, very similar characters. Shuichi Saihara. I mean, I might be alone in this. I like Shuichi and S. I think Shuichi's goaded. Like, his whole character journey from being, like, someone that's not confident in skills, doesn't want to use it, to, like, you know, the early chapters getting pushed by Kaito, kind of forced to use it, and then, like, by the end, he's like, I know what I have to do. Like, this is who I am. He starts the whole, like, I reject this fucking killing game. Like, fuck this. We're not even going to vote. He's, like, completely willing just to die to end this game. Like, he's a Chad. Yeah, yeah, top of it. The only reason why I say that is just because looking at Kyoko, Kyoko literally did the exact same that Chuichi did, but Chuichi was more developed and had more going for him than Kyoko. So I, I feel like he does deserve Chuichi. to be in front of her. Tenko Chabashiro. Tenko, ap again, after playing her free time events and knowing like why she does what she does, I love Tenko more and more as a character. Like I, the fact like, oh, she hates men, bro. Like you can't like that. Like, nah, Tenko definitely fucking like has her fucking reasons. Tenko's a good ass character overall. Not only that, the I fact agree. Top of B, she yeah. like she like saves Hemeno. And, no, Yumiko. Himiko, sorry. No. Samugi Shirogane. Samugi's hard because she's like so fucking boring the entire game until that last chapter. Bottom of C. <laughs> Bottom of C. No, 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 no. Uh, at least in front of top of C. Yeah, but then I have a problem. I think she's a better character than Karekio. Shit. <laughs> I think like, I think we have to edit some people out of B. I think. We, we, we I think say, she, tell you what, tell you what, we can do that after the fact after we go over the list one more time. I would put her in front of Anji. I like her whole thing as the game master and cosplaying as everybody. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. She she really did carry the like the whole fucking end, ending like ending of the whole fucking game and shit. When like when she really sh like shined and shit like that. So I can't say I don't like her character like, a lot. Like, like, I do like she's like decent comic relief up until that point. I put her in front of Toko for sure. Yeah, I'm okay with having her there in front of Toko. Now that we finished every single character from Danganronpa one, two, and V three. Is it anybody from this list that we want to negotiate moving around? I would drop Rantaro and Karekio down to top of C. With Karekio in front of Rantaro. Looking at the list right now, I don't see any major complaints from my Sonya one. You said Sonya? Yeah, she needs a drop. Uh, I'll put Sonya in front of Hajime. That's my... That's where I would put her too. Yeah, I'm okay with putting Sonya in front of Hajime. Look at that, bro. Look at look at the D category. That's Danganronpa 2. Danganronpa 2 is literally all either top or bottom. Like, there's no mid in Danganronpa 2. Me being biased, Abuki should be first, but you know, it's whatever. If you want me, we should be, we can all be <laughs> fucking biased. If I'm biased as fuck, this whole list is changing. Like, straight up. <laughs> there you have it, everybody. Our Dongenberger teal is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you don't like what we said and you think we're fucking idiots, please leave a comment below telling us what choice is the right choice. Again, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content from the Toy Boys. And uh, this has been Bubble of 007. And we'll see you all on the next video. Peace out. Slay bitch ass nigga. That's not cool, bro. That's not, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I wanna forget my bad days, all my bad days And be okay, and be okay Spend my spare change down at the arcade And then I'll say, I'll say I wanna forget my bad days, all my bad days And be okay, and be okay Spend my spare change down at the arcade Sucks.